you know, when Brian Bradley, the second Brian Bradley, uh, excelled in the 80s and 90s as one of the better two-way players in the league, a lot of us uh, said, you know, that's great, but how come nobody's talking about the original Brian Bradley that uh, made the WHA after being mired literally in the minors for approximately a decade? Uh, a very, very strong skater, played five years in Major Junior in Ontario, the pride of Sudbury, Ontario, born December 14, 1944. Now the left winger, uh, again, uh, 5'10", 174, first broke in with the Toronto Marlies of the OHA and the Western Dukes of the, the MJBHL in 1661. First full season uh, in the OHA, he played with uh, Toronto, then found him, uh, himself with the Brampton 7-ups, where 11 points in 28 games. 63, his first 20-goal 20, 20 season in major hockey, he had 45 points in 40 games, again 21 counters. 64 and 65 with Niagara Falls Flyers, put up some outstanding numbers, 110 games, 44 goals, uh, 46 assists for 90 points. Now he finally turned pro with Oklahoma City in the 66 season with 20 points in 69 games and 6 big playoff goals and 9 contests. 67 was his second 20 goal season uh, at the top flight hockey. He had 21 goals in 67 games. Oklahoma City again in 68. Injury played 35 points in 57 games. 69 a very interesting campaign. He played 50 games in the CHL with Dallas. Uh, Blackhawks had 16 goals. Then also played the AHL with a goal and assist uh, for two points in 22 contests with the Quebec Aces. Now back with Dallas in 1970, he had 13 goals in 69 games, including 41 points. Now back with Oklahoma City in 71, 22 goals for his third 20-goal uh, season. Excuse me, fourth 20-goal season in major... Uh, in major pro. Now, uh, he had scored 20 goals with Niagara in 65, again, tw uh, uh, 21 goals with Brampton in 63. Now, second season Oklahoma City in return, 29 points in 69 games. Now, when the WHA opened up, uh, it gave Brian a big chance to play at boys, he took advantage of it. New York Raiders in 1973, 55 points in 78 games, including 22 goals. Now back with the, the New York Golden Blaze Jersey Knights for 74, 38 points in 78 games. Now he wrapped up his uh, WHA uh, career with the Mariners in 75 with 9 points in 34 games, including 4 goals and 1 point in his only major league uh, playoff appearance in 6 games. Now uh, Syracuse, he played that year in the NEHL with 32 points in 33 games. And again, 76, his last minor pro uh, season with the Roanoke Valley Rebels of the SHL, 47 points in 70 games and six games in the playoffs. Now, Brian uh, was considered probably one of the most important early players for that uh, New York Raiders team because he was on their major second line, extremely, extremely dedicated to the fans that were in uh, cheering him on. Uh, WHA needed players like Brian to basically uh, bring their AHL and minor hockey and sometimes major junior experience to the big one. But a 28-year-old rookie, ladies and gentlemen, or 27 at the time, excuse me, uh, it's a very interesting situation. You don't, I, I don't know many 27-year-old rookies in Major League Hockey have scored 20 goals in their opening season after a decade in the minors, but he sure did this. So Brian Bradley, I tip my hat to you. Uh, you're the original Brian Bradley, and like I said, it's nice to know that when Brian Bradley, the second one, came in, it reminded how hard Brian Bradley, the first one, worked. And I know he appreciated you in every place you played. Again, just to recap, New York Raiders, New York Golden Blaze, Jersey Knights, San Diego Mariners, Oklahoma City Blazers, Dallas Blackhawks, Quebec Aces, uh, Roney, uh, Roenicke, uh Valley uh, Rebels, Toronto Marlies, Western Dukes, Hampton 7-Ups, and Niagara Falls Flyers. All outstanding uh, formations that had a big fan base. So, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, by the way, just to uh, recap, there was also a Brian Bradley. Uh, there's Brian Bradleys that played 
in the early 2000s and the early 1990s. So uh, it's a very popular name. So four Brian Bradleys, two in Major League Hockey, and uh, amazing, amazing family legacy. Thanks for listening. Bye.